Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and let's start this project in which we will be developing Android chat application using Android Studio with Firebase. And we will be using the Firebase Real-Time Database, Firebase Authentication, Firebase Storage and Firebase Cloud Messaging for real-time push notifications. So let's start a brand new project. Just click on start a new Android Studio project and choose this basic activity and then click next and let's just name our application as messenger app and make sure to select kotlin from the language and the minimum sdk 19 make sure to choose this and then just click finish so our project has been created now. Let it complete the Gradle build running. So now you can see that our project has been created successfully now. And by default, it created these files. Okay, and also here is our Kotlin files, including the main activity, first fragment by default and second fragment by default and these are the XML files for it inside this layout but the important thing uh, that we will be doing in this video tutorial is to connect our this project to the Firebase so go to the browser okay open Google and just type Firebase and you will see this link which says firebase.google.com just click on it here you can see that firebase.google.com and before uh, come here make sure that you are logged in to your gmail account here you can see it i am logged in by my own account which is mohammed ali okay so make sure to log into your account and then click on this go to console and here you will see this one which says add project so just click on this add project and here we have to give name to our firebase project so let's just give it name as messenger app then click continue enable this click continue and select an account default account for firebase then click create project so here you can see our firebase project has been created successfully just click on continue and then click on this android icon and it will redirect you to this page which says Android package name. For this, you have to go to your Android project. And here you can see this Gradle scripts. Just click here and build out Gradle module app. From here, all you will need is just to copy the application ID. So let's just copy this application ID and come back here and just paste that here. And then just click on this register app. Now the next thing is to just download this google services.json file just download this save file click ok and here you can see it has been downloaded successfully let's just go to the download folder this is the file okay and I'm, now let's just go to the android studio first of all and here what we need to do is here you can see we have this android okay just click here go to the project and inside we have this i mean our project name which is messenger app then explore this and inside this we have this app directory so expand this and then what we're going to do is go to the download folder where we have our this google services.json file just drag and drop this file inside this app directory okay this app folder here you can see it and then click ok and here you can see it this is our google services.json file which we move here inside our this app directory okay here you can see it now the next thing is come back here and change this to android again okay and go to the browser and here click next now here you can see this class path which says com.google.jms google services and this one just copy this Go to the Android Studio and here we have this build.gradle project and messenger app. So come here and just paste that here. Okay, just like this. Now the next thing is we have to 
copy this one which is apply plugin com.google.gms google services just copy this one come back here and inside our build.gradle module app go to the build.gradle module app scroll to the bottom and after these dependencies at the bottom you can just pass this and since we will be using the firebase database firebase authentication firebase storage and firebase cloud messaging so for that we have to add the dependencies so i will provide a link in the description down below so the link will be available down below you can just click on that link and it will redirect you to this page okay which is by the name dependencies.rtf if you see this view form then you can just copy it from here okay otherwise you can just click on this download let's just download this it is downloaded okay and now come here and double click on this dependencies file and you will see this so just copy these dependencies here you can see the first one is that just copy first control C go back to the end of studio and let's just paste that here so the first one here you can see is firebase core firebase auth firebase storage firebase database and firebase messaging so yeah that's it now the next thing is to just click on this sync now and come back to the browser and here click next and then skip this step and you will be here and first of all come here to the authentication sign in method and make sure to enable this email password so it is now enabled now come to the database and here just scroll a little bit and here we have this real-time database just click on this create database start in lock mode enable and now once you come here just click on these rules and make sure to change the read to true and also this one to true and then click on publish so yeah that's it okay and now let's just come to the storage and here we have to click on this get started next done So our storage is also created here. So yeah, I mean, congratulations. We have successfully connected our Android project to the Firebase. And you will see this Messenger app successful, configure successful. So yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. In this video tutorial, we just connect our Android app to the Firebase. So see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.